Hello and welcome to a daily run. Haven't done one for a while. This happens. We've all seen it before. Some days we do it, some days we don't. Seller one as Kane. I think we probably go to the curse room because there is a chance that it has some good stuff in it. Um, which turned out not to be the case. Okay, that's not fair. The chance was still the case. Please don't hurt me. Am I safe here? Yes. The chance was the case. And then we flip the die. We rolled the die. We don't flip dies. We flip coins. Uh, we rolled the die. The curse room was not that good. It only contained a, a demon judgment, which means we would have had to spend some HP to get anything at all out of it. We might as well take this. Uh, and we couldn't afford to spend any HP, but at least we could afford to spend the HP on getting in there in the first place. So, can't really be too salty about that. This uh, thing is not growing at all, which suits me fine. And this is going to explode into bullets. Do be careful. Now, the reason it's okay to spend red HP at this stage of the game is that there's guaranteed to be no deal with the devil uh, on the first floor. So, we don't need to worry about that. You can get one with a Joker card. We do not have a Joker card. We'll take the bill, because we're crazy. It is perks. Perks is good to get us to the um, the the dark room if we want to use a self-sacrifice room to do so. But you'll notice the non-inverted cross means we are at least going to Isaac. Uh, so the only opportunity we have of really getting the the, the dark room play out of this game is to do it on the cathedral. Or maybe just before the cathedral, but it's probably not worth doing it before Hush. So this is interesting. The, uh, it's the champion version of the horn. Now, I believe this is the one that spits out um, diagonal laser beams. Oh, I didn't go to plan. Never mind. So we actually want to stay in front of it. Because whoa, though. It's pretty difficult to dodge those, but it's even more difficult to dodge those, especially when it looks like they're about to uh, hit you when they reflect off the walls. Luckily, it has considerably less health than your average hush. We have a damage and range upgrade. We could go to the shop. It's not really worth doing, so... Uh, not too great a floor. The damage is okay from Blood Clot, but it doesn't really... Oh, oh that being said, we are Kane. Oh, okay. So apparently the... Uh, damage from blood clot is just randomly distributed across our shots. Normally it would be one eye with the blood clot, one eye without, but apparently Kane is special. Instead of getting blood clot in his only good eye and permanent damage upgrade, which would be sweet, you can see that he in fact has the blood clot under his eye patch. Uh, it just appears to be a 50-50 chance that we have a high damage shot. And then this, uh, this, my best friend is it? It's just a decoy Isaac that explodes. <laughs> Mostly it's a reusable bomb that's not quite as good as Mr. Boom. I think Mr. Boom has two room charge. Whereas this obviously has a three room charge. We do want to use it here though, so let's see. Uh, oh, we can't use it here. We have to use it at the end of this room. But it's not charged up yet, as noted. So now it's charged and we're not going to use it for anything. I think that it will attract enemies towards it. A bit like punching bag. And then the enemies, of course, in range, get exploderated when it goes off. But mostly we just use it as a bomb. We do have two normal bombs, so even that's not that important. But we are going to look to replace it ASAP. So if we can make the most out of it while we have it, that would probably be the most optimum play. And it's not like we had the space bar item when we took it. So it's not replaced anything important. Here's the quarter. Which is okay. Doesn't upgrade us directly. But if we can find the shot, which is right here, and we can get into it with our six keys, we may be able to buy something that is just as good. Uh, hmm, uh, hmm. I guess we buy the spirit heart to ensure that we have a better deal with the devil chance so that we don't get hit on the boss and lose that. I don't know if I want the compass or compass or deep pockets. I'll leave it I'll leave it for now because what I'm thinking is oh okay, um, on a future shot there may be something that we really like for example 
champion belt, which is a strong damage upgrade. Uh, or, you know, start a deck, which allows us to carry two things, but then we'll be definitely getting cards all the time, which means that we will get more um, runes, which I suppose doesn't actually matter because we're not going to be looking for an Awaz rune on this run. Ow. I, uh, I actually got stuck on the rock there, in case you were wondering. Which is not really an excuse, it's just a reason. But yeah, there's many items on the shops that we probably like better than the compass. Other people put more stock in the compass than I do. Uh, which is obviously their right to do. I mean, they can have whatever opinion they like about items. But I find that the compass giving me some idea of where things are is not very valuable. When I have no idea how to actually get there. This is a pain in the fucking ass, if you don't mind. Game. Let me just uh, kill this thing. There we go. This could be the secret room, so I'm just going to put this here for now. It is not. But the reason I did it here is that these rooms give you two charges on your item. Ah, that's very lucky. Uh, a room with three or four room segments is two charges on your item. So we should use the item which is fully charged whilst in the room rather than at the end of the room. That was just bullshit. What the fuck? The conspiders conspired. Not a secret room either. It's pretty difficult to find secret rooms on Curse of the Lost, but at the same time, this is a uh, this is only burning basement. There can't really be that many places for them, so <sighs> it's one of those ones where burning basement doesn't really have many tells about where the secret room could be. You don't really recognise rooms as this is usually a secret room. Let's use the tower here. See what happens. Monster takes a lot of damage. Okay. I mean, on, on future floors, we'll find that we'll see a wall and go, this is usually a secret room, and we'll put down our bomb, and lo and behold, it will be our secret room, and we'll feel like we've spent far too much of our, you know, youthful lives playing this damn game. I'm going to leave that for now. It's Krampus. I don't really fancy a Krampus fight in this tiny little room, but okay, I guess we're doing it. Ooh. Well, we don't need to save our red HP anymore, except in as much as we want to not die. Just, um... That works actually really well. So I'm happy that that particular item for once gave us value. Old bandage I left just in case we could take a deal with the devil and sell our HP to it. Now we would have had some of that HP back. It was not the case. The Krampus fight means we don't have devil precedent. Now obviously I'm going to say it as I usually do. Nobody does. Everyone plays the same run. Which means if this is going to be an angel run, this is going to be an angel run whether we like it or not. And of course the paperclip is our starting trinket, which means we can open all golden chests for free. Which is not a terribly bad deal. We can use this a lot, so there's no point not using it every chance we get. The quicker we recharge it, the quicker we can use it again. Our damage is really not... I suppose I should say our DPS is really not up to fighting these particular... I think these are called mosquitoes. As you can tell, they look like uh, bats and are extremely fat, which is quite common of mosquitoes. Those are two traits that mosquitoes are very well known for. Three rooms before we can use it again, so I suspect our secret room is on our left here. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> die. It did die. I hate playing chicken with these things. So you can see the red shots that we're producing. Ah, oh, that was dumb. Not very good at all. The red shots that we're producing are doing more damage than the white ones. Well, the black ones now. And the black ones, well, I suppose all of them do more damage the further they travel. That's a dime. The dime is nice. Do you have the dime? <sighs> so listen to me whine. Look, I've got a lot of time to fill in. I'm going to be saying shit like that a lot, so feel free to switch off. It's not your cup of tea. Uh, come on. With this damage... We're going to be in these rooms a long time. I would expect boss rush is an unlikely outcome, considering we're at eight minutes and we're really only at the start of the first flooded caves. And it being the flooded caves, we're going to be up against enemies with that much more HP than otherwise. Careful. That was a very stupid move. Don't do what I did there. Don't try this at home. A judgment. Um, let's see what it is. Some HP, if you please. We will stop at 15 cents anyway, and then blow them, blow them up. We expect the secret room to be here, which is why... Well, that counts as HP, but sure. Which is why I'm sort of 
doing this, and I've basically given up on bus rush. There's more HP, which is actually what I meant, so thank you for that. Uh, we do have real bombs. There's no real point waiting for uh, my best friend here to recharge, but at the same time, why use real bombs when you can use fake ones? It's like a C4 dummy. Charge! Help! We're okay. Shit me. I wanna... I can't use my uh, spacebar item. The one time the spacebar item is actually perfectly attuned to the floor. The room. Uh, I don't have it available. Did something drop? Yes, an, an HP dropped. We've probably squandered our angel slash devil chance on this floor, mostly by virtue of not having seen a single spirit heart in the entire fucking game, except for the one we bought, and that one that- oh, that was really bad. How do you do this room? Help! The one that dropped from that fire, which was very lucky, it did guarantee us our first deal with the devil. Wow, okay. We don't seem to be quite manoeuvrable enough to deal with these, but we're also not doing enough damage to get them out of our way before they can charge us, which is kind of worst of both worlds. Fate's reward. Ugh. No greed. I think we don't get greed at all. I think we, do, we do take mom's key. We take a spirit heart. Probably should have waited until we knew where the boss was, until we'd cleared the path to the boss, until we took that. But, I mean, I'm also kind of impatient. <laughs> Which seems fair. You know, I'm, I'm already given up on boss rush. If we do make it, it'll be entirely through serendipity and not through any you know, brilliance of my own. Much as I'd like to admit that I am capable of, or claim I suppose that I'm capable of this. Probably not. We just don't have the time. It's taking so long to do any damage to anything. Let's get rid of these jokers first. They're pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous. Monsoon Moon, Howard Moon. Coming at you like a jazz hamster. That was very lucky that it didn't hit me. Can you stop deflecting my shots? You're just causing me to take more time. Okay, uh, Chad didn't go for it. Which is a shame. Kind of needed Chad to go for that. Yeah, have this bomb instead. I mean, Fate's Reward is a tiny DPS upgrade simply because every now and then a tear comes out of it, but it's just so bad. It's like a shitty Incubus. In fact, it's not even quite like a shitty Incubus because it doesn't gain things like uh, Brimstone and I suppose Mom's Knife is actually worse as Incubus. But you get the picture. We'll go down to the next floor in a vague hope of being able to make it to Boss Rush. Boss Rush. Can't say that. Especially not on camera when people are watching and judging me. Stop judging me. I can smell it. Might as well just take this now. Put it over here. Tears Up is great. And we did accidentally find a secret room, which is also great. Honestly, I think Bob's Rotten Head is probably slightly better. I might not be, actually. I'm going to take Key Bum because I don't know what's good for me. I mean, who needs keys, right? You're never going to get them. Oh, Curse of the Maze. Perfect. Curse of the Maze. Perfect. Curse of the Maze, then. So we should have a tiny DPS upgrade, so this room should take slightly less time than it took on the previous floor. But we haven't really improved ourselves yet again. Our shop didn't contain any of the things that I was actually saving my money for that would increase our damage or at least damage potential or at least do something cool like have blank card in it or something. Will you fucking die? Stop being in my way. Right. Man. You really have to put your foot down with these, uh, some of these enemies. You know, they'll try and they'll try and stomp all over you. It's like cats. You know? they'll, they'll really try and take as much advantage of you as they can because they're not considering you from any sort of human psyche super ego sort of standpoint. They're just acting on instinct. Or, I suppose in this case, they're acting on their AI, uh, programmed in algorithms that only have really one way to deal with the situation that they found themselves in and don't really, all that being said, have any awareness or concept of the fact that they are in a situation that they have to deal with. So, really, your job is to put them in their place as quickly as possible so that they don't actually manage to fulfill the one purpose that these automata are actually on this earth for, in a digital form at the very least, which is to uh, cease your enjoyment and ruin your positioning on the leaderboard tables at the end of it all. 
Which, to be fair, considering the amount of damage we took on the previous floor, which actually is not one of my favourite floors. I think Flooded Caves is actually slightly difficult -er than uh, the Dank Depths. Which is quite saying quite a lot, but it's mostly those fucking blue bloated drowned silkworm things. You know, even when you've beaten them, still ain't beaten them. Probably should have used our spacebar item for that. Uh, we'll use it for this. I will take this at the end if I can avoid taking it now, because we're quite close to the top of our red hearts. I'll be upset if we lost the deal with the devil slash angel chance by taking red heart damage, but there's no point compounding that particular indignity by also losing an eternal heart, which could have done you really well on the next floor. So this is what I was saving my money for. Something like those options. Probably would have been at least smart to get this spirit heart. So hopefully there's some coins in here, which is that R. Uh, hello. You seem to have acquired this room where I thought I had done with that once and for all. That's Curse of the Maze for you. I'll be honest, I may have shat on Fate's Reward slightly prematurely. I mean, shitting slightly prematurely is what I was known for at school. Explosive well, I should have just used that there, really. Um, five minutes. It does actually seem to be doing significantly more DPS than I am. Or it's increasing my DPS significantly. That's where the word significantly was going to fit into that sentiment. Uh, but I didn't express it too well, which is a shame. See, I've just done a keeper run off camera on my own, which had not too much great stuff. It had the cancer trinket, but Lusty Blood was great against these enemies, these bosses that spawn enemies, because Lusty Blood causes you to gain damage as you kill things on the room, and it resets room to room, but if the boss is going to be spawning enemies, it's just going to be increasing my DPS. And basically, Gertie was done before I could even consider whether the enemies that Gertie was spawning were actually assisting with my fight against Gurdy, and yet here I am still going on about a run that you didn't even see and I didn't even record because we are not going so quickly against Gurdy. Oh, for five minutes. Well, we didn't take any red heart damage. Do we go for this, which is not that great? I think we do because it contributes to the spun transformation and it is a damage upgrade and we will just <laughs> leg it through there like lunatics. Uh, did we find our item room? No. So we take this now because... Everything I said before is irrelevant. I have gone completely back on my word. I don't care what I said. I've put some more thought into it, and apparently um, the likelihood of now taking red heart damage for the next floor is so remote and slim that I am not even remotely concerned about it. Is how to jump better than my best friend? Why don't use my best friend here and maybe get a magic mushroom out of there? We didn't get anything. I will take how to jump because we haven't seen it yet in the Let's Plays, or at least we haven't taken it. P probably seen it. But I probably went, oh, how to jump that shit. We've already found a secret room. Why are you putting bombs down against walls? Well, at least I noticed after the first bomb rather than the millionth. Curse of the maze, though. Curse the... So we will mature our eternal heart like a good whiskey. We will be way behind the clock for Bus Rush, which is about to basically tick over. We will fight this room, where normally I would prefer to leave it. We will take Head of the Keeper Penny Tears, because Head of the Keeper Penny Tears causes... Uh, ow. I need to walk into things, which have quite obviously just landed right next to me, and I should be more aware of what's going on around me. Uh, causes pennies to drop when the tears land, and I don't even know if they have to hit an enemy. I'm 90% sure they don't. Just based on where I've found... Pennies have to pick up the head of the keeper, mostly. Doesn't actually increase our damage at all. All it increases is the amount of money we get. I uh, seem to have acquired a coin by being hit there. I don't know if that was a coincidence. Probably was, since the only real form of coin generation that we do have is head of the keeper. We took a bit of damage on that floor. Room. Space. Not necessarily proud of that, but not... It wasn't so much damage that I feel particularly embarrassed by it, but... The way that I took damage is probably more embarrassing than the fact that I took damage, which is simply that I walked into something that had just jumped and I should have known where it was going. Look at all this money. Not only will this allow us to buy um, anything from the shop that will assist us if we believe it necessary to do so, but if we don't choose to do so, it will give us a great chance to 
have a high swag bonus at the end of the run. So basically, we want to take as many shots as we can to kill as many things as we can, and to hell with boss rush, and possibly to hell with hush. Depends on how much more damage we get, because if we don't increase our DPS, it, it puts an upper limit on the speed at which we can actually progress. It's not a secret room. Although I don't think there were any clues that that wasn't a secret room, so don't feel too ornery about wasting a bomb on it. Hmm. I haven't really found many, uh... Fuck me, why did you have to go that way? 50-50 you know, chance of you not pissing me off and you managed to do the one which I didn't want you to do. More money is fine. We'd like to find our item room. This is obviously only depth one, so we can beat the boss first if we really want to. We've got plenty of keys, but no more bombs. Careful with that. Don't let it hit you on the way out. Face reward does seem to pick up the uh, head of the keeper effects out. Hello? Try and hit it without <laughs> shooting you. Sometimes patience is a virtue. Heard that said somewhere. I think it was an old Chinese proverb. But it's not necessarily, it doesn't translate well into our culture is what I'm trying to say. We've got a little Chad. I don't really talk about it because you always get a little Chad from Chad. It's guaranteed drop. Um, but it's kind of shit. <laughs> I mean, if we were taking a lot of red heart damage, then fine. Little Chad's great. Ooh, another eternal heart. We should probably find the item room first. It could cause us to lose our um, spirit heart, which is our only protection against uh, red heart damage against the boss, and thus losing our deal with the devil. But Which I think is 100% now, because we haven't had one for two floors in a row. Unless we take red heart damage, in which case all bets are off. You know what? We can, uh, oh, I don't actually want a battery charge. We can jump in and get a couple of these, um, these coins that have decided to slather themselves around the place. It's going to be greed. Of course it's going to be greed. How did I know? Because I didn't want it to be greed. And therefore, it had to be greed. So we can uh, actually hit him with some of these coins, and then maybe if we do some damage to it, you know, I believe that's major part of the strategy of the game is to ensure that the tiers that you're creating do uh, do impact the enemy in a in a kinetic manner. Whilst I was mithering on about that, it actually happened. We might as well take this. I mean, I was going to say there's no points for not taking it, but there are literally points for not taking it. But not points I care about. Let me have the bomb. Okay. Uh, we might as well fight the boss now. Now, because I want to, because we have um, a spirit heart and a half, and it's depths one, so we can leave this room again. Of course it's fucking brownie though, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Our DPS is not great, so brownie might take a while to die, which means, yeah, that's going to happen. There's so much shit on this screen, this is a bullet hellish of all bosses, I'm pretty sure. And plus, you have to look at the shadows of the shots, not the shots themselves, which I find extremely confusing. There's more bullet hellion going on there. Ooh, magic mushroom is. Thank you for an actually valuable payout. Not Krampus, of course. It's the shovel. <laughs> hoi, 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 hoi. Um, it's slightly better than what we have. And we did just get HP from magic mush, so... I mean, I'm not pleased with it, but I don't hate it. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna go. There's a lot of stuff on the ground. Ah, eternal heart. It's all right. We have plenty of HP, but more is better, I guess. I'm just gonna put these down. One of them, there's a, I think a 10% chance that it turns out to be a crawl space. Which means if we put 10 down, we can at least expect to see one. If that makes sense. I mean, I know that's not how statistics work. You catch my drift. Uh, we'll take the Hargalar's room, good new, and then use it somewhere with a lot of rocks. Hopefully find a Tinted Rock amongst them, uh, which could give a small rock and therefore a much better damage upgrade. Although, to be fair, the damage we have right now is good. Magic Mush does that. It's just a natural feature of Magic Mush. You know, it's a, it's a freckly face, it's a well-appointed shop. It's just 
just one of the things that makes Magic Mush what it is. We cannot get in there by any stretch of the imagination. We'll move on. Um, yeah, it's a very good damage upgrade. I believe it's a two times damage multiplier. And where Small Rock is a one and a half for one and a quarter damage multiplier, so Small Rock will just end up being a damage upgrade based on the principle that you only get one damage multiplier at once and the rest are just additive. And I know you should probably avoid additives. They are not necessarily healthy for you. It really depends on what the additive is. Ah, oh, come on. Give me cards that are, you know, utilizable. They have utility, but not much. Let me put this here. Nope. Uh, Hanged Man is slightly better than Hagalars because we don't need to destroy all the rocks to try and make a random bridge. We can just fly around and get stuff. Stopped before it did too much. The Hierophant is just going to be used right now. Take all the things. Actually, yeah. Keep them. Um, take the keys. You did already once pay out with the golden chest. In case you're wondering where the golden chest appeared from uh, a few floors ago. It was a uh, key bag over there. Just, just picking them up. Dropping me back down the, uh, the fruits of his labour, which is random items often. Consumables. Perks is really good, but the only reason I would ever use perks on the daily, in fact, in general, is to try to get the uh, the angel statues, the, the teleporting from self-sacrifice rooms, which I don't really want to do. I mean, we could use perks later on, but at some point I'm going to find something that Hangman actually you know, benefits me for. What's in here, do you think? We're on depths too. Not even on the whim. It's crazy. Might as well take both. Starter deck is exactly what I asked for a while ago. Which gives us an answers rune. And the Bible does nothing for us. Because we can't get out of the mom fight. So we could just insta-kill mom. But we then can't go back to get our joker card. Which is what I'm going to do if... Um, ooh, interesting. I'm going to put using a bomb. Let's see what it is. It is Bobby Bomb. So we actually got five bombs from it. I'm going to go back to the Joker card. And you can't stop me. Um, even if we don't get a deal with the devil... Even if we do get a deal with the devil on this floor, we can't have one on... Um, the cathedral, which is up where we're going. So, yeah, take that. Have it. So don't walk into the mom fight without, you know, at least going back to the Joker card, because... We won't be able to get it. And if we don't need it now, we still need it later. Answers is not what I wanted to use. I just wanted to use Hagalas, which I don't have. Although this is actually confirmed for me, something that I was unsure of. Great. Well, we can carry two cards now. We might as well get the Joker. Don't walk down those. That would... Okay. That would skip a boss fight, which would skip some points, which would skip several ranks on the leaderboard, which is not the be-all and end-all, but at the same time, it would be very foolish. I would be definitely embarrassed by that. Of all the things I'm not embarrassed by, like taking silly damage on a mob trap room. That would be the sort of thing that I would probably never live down. Right, I hate this room so very much. So we could do this. We can basically... You can bait them. But it's hard. Um, and it kind of depends on the directions that they start moving and when, when the room begins. Chubby's dead. Chubb is not even the boss on this floor. Mom is. So if we don't get a deal with the devil here, we still have um, the Joker card. Your Joker card is basically best used the first time you don't get a deal with the devil. You're not going to gain anything by um, by using it on a floor where you're not going to get one for sure, because you just you it's just one more deal with the devil. I don't even know whether the seeding of deals with the devil. I know it exists, but I don't know whether it happens in um, in order. So everyone gets the same set of deals with the devil, and it's just which one you get first. So whether the floor has a deal with the devil associated with it, and you have to either get to it or not. Don't know what hit me, but I guess we'll take the Polaroid. We didn't get a deal with the devil, so we'll whisht out like this. We might as well take both. The nail, I think, beats... Oh, that's not very good. Beats the shovel quite a lot because it's not only a damage upgrade for the room. It gives us a spirit heart for until we get hit again. Um, 
Now we're on the boom, right, cool. So we're very slow. Luckily, we're not going to be doing hush. Luckily for you. Luckily for me. I'm just happy to be playing the game today. I've not been playing for a while. Uh, kind of forgotten how. Did do quite well on the keeper run, considering it's a keeper run. But, you know, not that well. Oh, help. <laughs> Did it. For the best. So, I'm just sort of happy to be keeping in practice. I don't know how I survived this room, but survived I did. What's this then? Temperance. Could do us some good. I'm not sure how much. It could at least get us to permanent Polaroid invincibility, so there is that. Hmm. That's a possibility. Maybe we should try... Oh, excuse me. We'll put it sort of here. Temperance. Don't think I can get that with the other one. What we'll do... Crank on it like this. We'll take up this half heart here. We'll use it again. And then we get permanent Polaroid invisibility. And then we'll do that and we'll do it all again. I mean, there's a chance we get a blood bag out of this, but I think that'll be fine, because we could just do it all again. Oh, I accidentally used a spirit heart. Uh, you may call me a fool. That's your prerogative. There was not a secret room there. Oh, you jeb end, what are you doing? I hate that room. I always take damage on that room because I forget about it. And the spikes are immediate. You know, there's no opportunity to break. There's none of those cartoon skids. That's a horse. Uh, you know what I mean. Good. Not going to go in there. It's going to cost too much. Envy, what are you doing here this late in the game? Envy's like, Ugh, I'm filling in for me, mate. <laughs> for me, mate, Jeff, the god of biscuits. And I kind of didn't want to be here, and I was just sort of hanging out the back, hoping nobody would notice. A bit like a Papa John's on a Tuesday night. People are just, you know, I just want to go home. Hopefully nobody comes in, but no, we walked into Envy's room and stirred the beast, and he had to do his job, and we had to slay him. Uh, which I think is very ritualistic. We could have just, you know, talked about it. This could be use of this. Oh, I took a half heart. Which seems to have been a full heart. Why is that a full heart? Maybe I picked up a full heart? Well, we have full health now, so I don't really <laughs> really want that. Um, we can go back and use the... Wow, blood bank. We are killing these really fast, but you have to not walk into them whilst killing them really fast. Um, I understand for many people, including myself, that is too much to ask. Plenty of coins on the ground, so if we were the keeper right now, we'd have plenty of HP for ourselves, but we are not. In fact, there's only been one keeper run ever on the dailies, and that was April Fool's Day. Which is understandable. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm doing it. Look, I've gone to the effort. Old bandage, by the way, pays out sometimes when you get hit with a full red heart. Which is why that's happening. Right, don't forget about the fucking... Kind of hoping it would pay out with a blood bag there. Don't forget about the spikes on this room. Stop. Good. Run! Very good. Well done. You can be taught. Spike train. Fucking horse. Jump over the thing. No. Step over the thing there. No. Uh, follow me around the thing? No. Don't walk on the spikes. Jump over the spikes. We haven't got how to jump, so we've already forgotten how. I mean, it's not like we read the book. Like many books, you can only get information from it whilst you have it and hold down the space bar. That's how books work. I've been to a library, I know this. It's a great prestige to have been to a library. Don't mock me. I know there are many books in there. I haven't read any of them. Uh, as far as I understand it, books are just dead trees with stuff written on them, and the stuff that's written on them is the same sort of stuff that you can get by talking to people, so you might as well just talk to people, because, you know, it's easier. And then you can go, stop book, I don't understand it, except in this case, book is person. Um, stop person, what you are saying is nonsensical to me, I, maybe I have a condition, but I would appreciate if you would accommodate this right now and you can get them to explain it in some depth whereas 
a book that's telling you something, even if it's a story. It may say something that made sense to the author at the time, but is literally completely invalid English. And probably should have been proofread once or twice. That was very close. Did you see that? Dodged around those things, even though I've forgotten they were going to happen because I got so engrossed in my description of human versus book and also bored shooting the fucking thing. I've forgotten how it works. This is Scarred Room 1 at 33 minutes. Thank you for sticking with me. Uh, there'll be more after this brief interlude. Uh, we'll be back with the news and weather in about another 50 minutes, depending on how long Death takes to die. Death will give us a cube of meat, and we'll in fact be the first horseman that we fought today. I'm just uh, <laughs> not quite sure how to deal with this. I think we got our second syringe at some point, but I forget. Maybe we didn't. Oh, although we do have there's options. Uh, I'm not sure HP is necessarily the correct there's option, but... We'll see what the devil has for us, which is Rotten Baby, which could be decent. I think we'll take it. It's definitely a damage upgrade. I'm still going to take Ball of Bandages, which is very, very foolish, because at this stage, Ball of Bandages is just an invitation to walk into stuff and get hurt. Oh, look, we're not even near the... <laughs> we're not even nearly at the stage we want to be, which is the cathedral. We're nowhere near the end of this. We'll take the bomb, try to avoid the HP there. HP does give you points for picking it up, but... Honestly, I think we're better off trying to... Wow, all this money. Um, trying to keep half a red heart to ensure permanent Polaroid invincibility happens to us if we get hit. Thereby allowing us at least to do a bunch of damage with our newfound ball of bandages. Oh, we're okay. Um, drawing that invincibility period. Bomb. A bomb is also points. What do points mean? Uh, I think it's a pound for a hundred at boot. Oh, there's nothing here. I've done that often enough. <laughs> you walk into a room, you're like, yeah, I get to use my nail on the next room, and you don't pay attention to the fact that the next room doesn't actually contain nail-worthy things. I'm going to take one of those, but you can have the other one. Answers and the Hanged Man. I mean, we should probably use the Hanged Man for something sensible at some point. It felt like a secret room, but when I looked at it and saw that there was only two sides, I thought, hmm. It's so much more common for a secret room to be on a three-sided thingy. Somehow we picked up HP. Uh, probably gonna... How did I not get hit there? Probably gonna have to blame little Chad for dropping one in front of me, maybe? Or maybe a uh, keybagger over here. We can still get into here, though. And I'm glad we did. We'll pop one open and beat the bosses first, and then finish the other two off. We don't want to be distracted by baubles and trinkets. Packs laden with loot are often light on supplies. Go check out our Darkest Dungeon series for more context. Not that anyone watching this is not watching that. But if you are and want to, there should be a link in the description below. That's something to talk about while Loki dies and then jump. The amount of damage we're doing is notable right now. We haven't really had a damage upgrade for some time, but it's still, um, still a lot. Thank you, Samson's Chain, for helping me out with that particular conundrum. I wouldn't know what to do without any bombs. Uh, how about that? Um, and that's, actually, this is pretty good, because we could have the opportunity here to get ourselves back into permanent Polaroid invincibility with the right combination of items, i.e. something that will take HP away from us, i.e. Uh, a Demon Judgment or a Blood Bank, which could obviously give us HP back, but probably would not take that. Yeah, you can have that key. Is there anything here I want? No. We're not far off from a charge. Where's the use of the... There's something else in this room. I can smell it. I mean, the room seems to know. Ah, you see, I didn't press it this time. First check for combat, then push the button. Kill that. Oh, the other one died on the way past. Superb. Should probably check this. Why don't we use the answers room now? I have no answers for you. That was stupid. <laughs> Fine. We did have a hanged man. We could have used the hanged man to get the uh, thingy. Now, here's the question. Do you want to do the self-sacrifice room? I think it will go on us a lot of points. More than anybody who just goes to Isaac. But less than anybody who actually managed to make it to boss rush, which I expect is some people. I mean, I'm not the best player. In fact, the fact I'm still alive is probably... Um, at least a certain amount of surprise to many people. 
This is decent room. Full card is okay. Strength card is also just okay. Full strength, hanged man. I guess we want to take strength because it will help us out on at least a room. Hanged man, oh, sure. Maybe we'll find a room before we go down to the next floor. The strength card could actually give us one extra HP for use on the self-sacrifice room if we think we need it. You're not going to die until everyone else has died, which is frustrating as hell. There we go. Uh, we'll take this because it does that. And we have two battery charges and a guppy item, which is our second. I think it's only our first. It's unfortunate. Uh, we might as well use the battery charges now. There's no reason to go into the next room and then use them, and we'll save the final one for our boss just to give us a bit of an advantage. I don't really think we're going to need it, but it's always nice to have. Somehow, we're suddenly getting A, shitload of HP, B, um, a lot of red chests. Don't walk into it until it's actually gone off the map. Oh, I walked into that instead. Well, if you're going to walk into something, there might as well be a bullet that's moving rather than a turret that's not. So, we may get a deal with the devil. It would be nice to be able to sell our final HP to make permanent Polaroid invincibility viable. You didn't. Don't go in there. For goodness sake, Shaky Jake. Right, well. <laughs> you know what we do. We go in here. We hope for the best. See, I'm stopping on every room now because I've been bitten enough times by the damn fucking spike room trap. That was another one. Try not to, um... Try not to let Samson's chain break anything that could explode into bullets, because that would be, uh, pretty disastrous. And Rotten Baby with those flies is so good. So good. Of course, our perks pill, which does exist, or did, has been irreparably replaced, indelibly replaced, by cards across the board. This is not what I want to happen, but there's no way out until I get either wait for them to move or just kill them. We need to get some more coins, although we have got 99. I think you may still get a couple of points for picking them up. Who cares? Right, here we go. We take a hit. We take a hit. We take a hit. We feel blessed. That's just what I wanted. HP. No HP. Bombs, though. We still feel blessed. Okay, good. Please be the one that pays out the spirit hearts. That's a spirit heart. I meant like a bunch, though. That's not spirit hearts, that's bomb. Keep going. There's our first angel, right. Try not to get hit by this angel, because that would really put paid to some of our plans right here. Although we do have uh, a couple of HP on the ground, and we have two red hearts available to us, which is actually probably one of the, the best situations to be in right now. There's a shitload of those, so what I'm going to do is not take them just yet. Kill this joker. Try not to get hit by it if you can avoid it, which I might be able to. I mean, honestly, I don't necessarily need to fight it. I could just keep hurting myself on the thing, but I'd like it not to be hunting me down. You see what I mean? So now we do this. Take all of these. I mean, this could immediately teleport us. There's a lot to be said for maybe risking... It did. Uh, one more red HP. Therefore putting us on half of red HP and giving us permanent Polaroid invincibility that way. But uh, as you can see... It appears to have been correct to um, well, not do that, basically. Hanged man. Got this guppy. It is guppy. Do I want flies or... Right, what we'll do is we'll take this and recharge this. Bear with me. we we'll take this and recharge this. This will guarantee us two spirit hearts. But I do think that guppy's head is in general better an item than the nail. Uh, the nail is temporarily a it's a, a reasonable damage upgrade, but it is nevertheless a temporary damage upgrade. Whereas, um, the flies from Guppy's head can really bring down, especially some weaker enemies, or do a lot of crowd control for us. It's stuff we don't have to think about. We do have flies already because of um, the uh, uh, rotten baby, but you know, you wow, how the fuck fast did those things go? You saw that. There was just one standing there that time. So what I'm going to do? Use the nail, then use the question mark card, 
Might as well use a nail on a room. Use it on this room, which has got these horrible bastards in it, which does not fill me with confidence at all. Which is pretty bad. Don't, don't like that. No, you're rolling around. I'm trying to kill one of them. Trying to focus one of them down, but not necessarily going as much to plan as I would have anticipated. Oh, shit. I hate these fishes. Oh, Jesus. We've actually lost more HP on this one than we gained by coming in here in the first place. And we don't have permanent Polaroid invincibility, so we can't, um... We can't hit him with our Cuban meat. Oh my god, what just happened? Okay, well we'll use this. It gave us two more spirit hearts, which was really not worthwhile. That was a very difficult room. It's always a difficult room for me. Oop. Spirit heart. No. Then we'll come back and get... Up his head, I suppose. And the moon. Might as well just use the moon. That was strength. <laughs> use the moon. I pressed control by accident when I was fat fingering the keyboard. Basically, the way I play this game, rather than um, pressing keys in a sort of a known fashion, which would cause the computer to be controlled in such a way that the character on the screen performs the actions I wish it to, um, I just sort of randomly press buttons. Mostly hoping for the best. Uh, sometimes I can sort of draw a collaboration between what I press and what happens on the screen, but to do that on purpose is more brain power than I have. Essentially, I'm not capable of it. So instead, I just press whichever one I guess I haven't pressed for a while. I don't know, I couldn't really tell you. It's more of an instinctive thing. So instead of, uh, instead of doing what I was supposed to do and use the, the moon card, I press control, and then Q. Let's use the strength card. So that's my excuse. I'm going to do all the rooms because try and stop me. I've got a lot of range, which is gradely. Reek gradely, I might add. Not just gradely. That was a great dodge. Considering how badly I normally dodge in general, that was a tremendous dodge, actually. Two guppy items. We could get a third. We are getting spirit hearts anyway by, you know, the grace of God or whatever. Hanged man, of course it is. We brought that with us. What should we do with the drunken hanged man? I don't know. Please die. Get these things out of my way so that we can... <laughs> Stop talking because I don't know what to do once they're out of my way, but I'd like to leave this room, please. No permanent Polaroid invincibility is hurting, and I mean that literally. I'm taking a lot of damage on this exact floor. This is fucking bullshit, though. They'll shoot you at once and there's no way around it. No spirit heart. Attempt, like, tease me with purple fires that don't contain spirit heart. Or blue fires. There are purple ones. We've already been to the secret room, you dumbass. That was when you went on that whole thing about how you can't fucking play the game properly. Guppy. Uh, shit item. Okay. Of course, uh, red chests are not necessarily red chests down here. They just turn into item chests. Oh, uh, this is hard. Whoa, where did that one come from? I've got to keep got to keep my eye on the entire room because there's things appearing from places I didn't know I had. There's one there. Yeah, fuck off. Guppy's head is at least helping, if not to the extent. How did you get there before I was available? Ah, oh, very frustrating. And this room is probably going to kill me because it always does because I always walk into the fucking ghosts. They always spawn where I'm about to stand or shoot me because I didn't move. This uh, fly may actually do us some good. Ooh. Hello. How have you got this much HP? It's fucking OP. There we go. It is the virus that spun. It's not spun. Well, fuck you too, game. Try and focus him down if you can. We didn't really get. Oh. Is there something about my hitbox that my brain just will not comprehend? Today? There must be. I'm dodging between these things, thinking I'll thread this needle, no problem. It's like I'm driving a bus. Bob's Curse is... We've already got Bob's Curse, didn't we? We should probably use these bombs. They are homing and poison. Probably didn't really help there so much. Well, it did help, but... Didn't fulfil the task I'd sort of... expected of it. Oh, no super secret room there. There's got to be one somewhere. Oh, this is shit. Put these down. Get them in. Remember about them, they're fucking good. Spider butt. Uh, monkey butt. Oh, here it is. Don't know why I've even put this, uh... Sure. 
Um, bomb there. So it's never a secret room in that sort of position. What are you doing? Please don't do the brimstone thing. Well, I'm not prepared for it, you dildo. For fuck's sake. Do more damage. There we go. We managed to kill that little spider before we walked over it. Don't ask me how. Do as much damage as I can in between the brimstone shots. Why did you shoot that way? I will not question. I will just accept. It is what it is. And you missed. That's all I care about. A key. Wow. Let's do more rooms. Sure. There's plenty of HP on the ground if we're worried about it. Uh, which I am. But I'd rather get Spirit Hearts prepared. Maybe we should keep hold of the nail. Oh, hello. Don't know. I mean, we're not going to be able to recharge the nail. So, I mean, you could say keep hold of it, I'm sure, but how did I not get hit? Um, it's not going to help, <laughs> I guess is my point. What are we going to do with the nail? It doesn't have a, a charge on it. Might as well use a hangman. many bombs as you can, you're not getting paid for, well you get some points for having them at the end, but not as many points as you get for actually winning, so we'll try and do that first. Lamb of course with an upside down cross on its head, something to do with the Bible I'm sure, it was uh, not great. I was expecting it to chase me around the room, uh, like uh, Krampus's new attack, but it did not, which is horribly surprising to me. Please, die. Please. Use all the bombs, I don't care. I have more than enough. Shit, don't get hit on your own bomb, that would be stupid. <gasps> we did it! We'll take this. Hooray! 29,000 for a lamb fight is terrible. Did get us to 292nd though, which means many people probably didn't do that. Which, they're lost, but... Oh, we were not cut out for that sort of end of the run damage output that we needed to do. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. It was a little bit exonerating, but no. Exhilarating? It was scary. And I'll see you next time I bother.